All right, so we got the other side over there all working. And now we're going to do some testing on this side and see if we can get this side all working. So basically we're going to probably not film a whole bunch of this one because it's just repeating to the other side. I'm sure everything's froze up in there. So we're going to try to take it back apart and get it working. Alright, so we got that side all taken care of. She's working. Dad is over here wire wheel and the fender wheels. So we're going to put some undercoating on him. So he's going to town getting the rust off. And we actually came to the Decision in factory, I'm not replacing none of that. It is not wore out. The dump trailer, you guys go back to those videos, oh, it had so much slop. We got it. I mean, that slop's normal, but there is no side to side slop. So, we're not replacing that now. I just think it's a waste of time. So we're going to clean the fenders up and rewire it. So, that's what I'm working on right now. I got to drill a couple new holes. So, let's get that done. You got new clearance lights too? Alright, check this out. Finally got a new tripod. I have a couple of those ones. I have another one over here. She's a little wore out. She's just, both of them were like that. <clears throat> so actually what I did, because I run a magnet base, I drilled a hole, welded a nut, and then just tightened it down. I welded a quarter inch nut. This was an old plate off of that one. 
But kind of excited. I finally bought a good one. What, bub? Check Maddox out. He is extremely dirty. He has laid under there, that trailer, held the flashlight for me all day, haven't you, bud? Yep, get your fingers out of your mouth. They're dirty. So, we'll give a little recap here because still not quite finished, but we got the old lights off. We wire wheeled them down, put some fresh paint on them. We wire wheeled the whole fender wells and reshot those. We're not replacing the stuff in there because, well, it's just, it's not bad. We took the bearings out, repacked all the bearings. We got all the brakes readjusted and fixed and working in good working order. I bet it's been, I've never pulled this trailer that actually had the brakes working on it. So yeah, kind of, kind of shocked. Um, so that'd be a plus. So we got all the old wiring cut out and we got, I believe, most of the um, new wiring ran. And we got some stuff. I totally used red wire. I don't know why I did. For my running lights, uh, for like the side markers, the license plate light. And we got a new, see, look, May May's. Got his flashlight, huh? Get your fingers out of your mouth, Bubby. We got a new breakaway. So we're gonna have to mount all this stuff. And yeah, I think we're gonna have to drill some holes. I'm thinking about mounting the breakaway right here. I don't know, I might mount it right there. I don't know. Cause we gotta also mount this, which is our new plug. So I don't know. Plus, um, I'm gonna add on to it. I kind of was looking around. So I have a old outer hub off a Ranger or an Explorer. I don't know. It's a five by four point five, so it fits right in there. And instead of always having a spare tire roll around the bed of my truck, I'm just gonna weld this thing right onto there. Well, I gotta extend it out because it's deeper than the rim but weld that onto there and then that way i can take the spare tire for this thing and just put it on and leave it on forget about it how nice would that be because you know i every every blowout we've had we've either haven't had the tire yeah we just haven't had the tire so we've had to come get it take it it's just been a pain so now we'll be able to just be Easy peasy. I, it's not ideal to put it on the side. My thoughts. Because I'm, it's going to be a pain to strap around. But eh, we'll, we'll, we'll get her figured out. This trailer does not haul usually a lot of cargo on it. Most of the time it's tractors. Um, and the zero turn. And everything gets strapped up here at the front and in the back. So it's a... Uh, outer hub assembly i'm telling you he's my second oldest boy or no you're not you're the middle boy yeah second youngest i think i don't know but he's the one that's going to be the mechanic of the family someday hey may may what are these um, <laughs> he's always asking what everything is and he's really good at it so but that's gonna be it for this evening. So we'll pick us up tomorrow. We're, we're, yep, that is the brakes. We're gonna finish wiring it up, and we'll see if I, I am gonna get around to welding that up more than likely because I like every time I can jump on the welder. Oh yeah, we also see, Papa changed the tire on the hand truck, so it's good. Old one was pretty wore out, wasn't it? It is. Yeah. yeah. And we gotta weld the support back onto there. And this thing's gonna be good to go. I 
Gonna definitely pull it in this winter and paint it though. It could use a good paint job. But enough rambling on. We'll catch you guys, uh, catch up with you guys tomorrow and we'll get this thing wired up, finished up, and the spare tire mounted. Yep. All right, so we're back at it today. It is a little later than what I wanted to get started. Maddox is over there already ready to help me with the light. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna change plans up. I originally was gonna mount the spare tire right here, but I don't like that idea because the very, very slim times that I do haul cargo on this thing, that thing's gonna be in the way. Like if I gotta get a skid loaded on the front or something. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is unbolt this toolbox, unbolt the jack, slide the toolbox forward, put the spare tire here behind the toolbox, and also weld a uh, hitch plate on here just in case I'd ever need the winch on this trailer. It's there and it's good to go. Um, and I might even add a light, I don't know. So, plan today is wheels, tires back on, all the wiring complete up to just all the wiring complete on the back half, everything brought up. And then we can, from there, when we move all, when we move the toolbox is where we need, when we move the toolbox, then we can mount it all and finish our last little bit of connections up here because I believe I am going to mount all this stuff on the toolbox. So, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, work on getting this wire wiring completed i cannot talk today i am just wore out and tired and don't really want to do nothing so i figured i'm gonna at least come out and do something because maddox said it was time to go to work didn't you so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna at least get the wiring and it cleaned up and we'll go from there Right here. Uh, so 
says anything is easy. do here is we're going to have to drill these two holes down lower. I was going to try to get away without running the bracket, but it don't make no difference because this, this is just a housing to help protect lights because we bust lights up all the time. These, these lights here actually, see, are broke. Um, so we're gonna drill these, and these are extra thin lights, so that way less chances of breaking. Uh, I already cracked them. It's junk. But so we're gonna drill these holes down a little bit, and then we'll be able to bolt them. So what I'm doing is I'm. Switching the lights around, uh, if I'm correct. Yeah. Yellow should be your driver's side, your yellow wire, and green should be your passenger side. But I think for some reason, the light company may have messed up because of how these brackets are on the lights and how the holes line up because they're a relatively common across the board so what i'm doing here i'm flip-flopping them i really don't care yeah i know well if i flip-flop them then i still have the marker light and the only thing that's going to be different is the license plate light will be shining straight up on the passenger side which I really don't care about because I don't utilize the license plate light I have a, another license plate light up there because the license plate is relocated have a light right here. yep my May is pointing to it right now so we got that one snugged onto there 
We still can't use the brackets. I'm not drilling more holes and just for these lights. These lights are just gonna be a little off and the collars are gonna be backwards, but Daddy. who cares? It's just gonna be backwards right at the hookup of the light. Daddy. And no, we don't need to cut them off. We're gonna connect them to these wires. So, that being said, yeah, we're going to get these tightened up here. Yep. We'll yeah. be tightening May May bolts. Yeah. Tightening the lights onto here. Yeah. That will work, Captain. Yeah, it will work. We have some more lights. Yeah, we have some over there. We got to go tighten up next, huh? Yep. Next one. Sure let you. I could probably get a socket, but why not use the universal socket? And really, you don't even need these brackets because everything is just, these don't protect. I mean, yeah, they would stick out a little farther, but these brackets are designed for the other style that do stick out farther, but these are so flush gonna hit there but if you hit something under Daddy, here well it's just gonna rip them off anyways so let's get this other side over here I am extremely lazy today we're rolling around on chairs instead of walking pretty sure is your turn and brake light and browns are your running and white and white is going to be our ground so let me check my phone and we'll get back with you here may may what are they called My yep <laughs> all right so we're gonna get these Right here, connected, we're gonna try a new, we're not gonna uh, solder all these. Yep. Daddy, I'm gonna do it. We're going to, we're wiring this, bud. Yep. This is a little bit high for that. Yeah, it's a little bit high. Daddy, how do you put this down, Daddy? Sit on it and throw it down. Um, Alright, so we're going to use some new connectors. These are heat shrink with solder in them. So we're going to see how these fare out. I bought this kit and I've never, I think I may have used it once, but I really don't know how it works. I think the majority of this kit that I've used, I just put in stock on the truck. I like that connection. And a different connection, and then I think all you do is just get it hot. Yeah, just like 
at. Alright, I don't know what all you guys seen. So, what we're doing is we're trying a new connector. It's got solder in it. I just tried it and it pulled out almost immediately. So, I don't know if I did something wrong or what. Try this a little bit different. Slide it onto there. Oh, cover this stuff. Bye bye. together the best I can. It's not faring too well for me. Alright, now let's try this again. Because we're melting shrink tubing and solder. all the solder move around in there so let's let that cool down and then we'll give her the old tug test and see how she fares all right it's cooled down enough that I can touch it Daddy. hey there you go that's a good connection yep that phone's dead buddy yep. all right well let's uh let's try this again get our runnings hooked up here Put our, our tube on here. Alright. Put that back a little bit more. Daddy. What, bub? You have to move. Yeah, why are we eat lots? Daddy. Daddy. What, bub? Why are we eat two of these? Just because they're a different style. They're the same. Yeah. Well, they look the same, uh, but they're yeah. a little bit different. This leather bag. Yeah. All right. Bag. Well, there we go. We got that connected, and then we'll just bring the solder right over top there. See, I think with the next one, we can go the next size smaller. If anything, that's a little big. We ain't lighting that, Daddy. Because we're melting the solder in there. We're soldering the wires together. Yep. So that's hot, Daddy. Daddy. Hmm. That's going on fire. Yeah, it's hot, huh? Yep. Daddy. Huh? Don't touch it. It's very, very hot. Yep, don't touch it. Really, really hot. You're right. Hold on. Let's go. 